Hi guys, welcome to another answers video and I was happy that even when I said that I would not be answering you know these shall I got xxx percentage what are my chances to get into IIMs I still got very interesting questions and I have answered your questions this time just a quick update from my side so I'm on exchange to University of Mannheim in Germany and I mean Currently, I am just traveling around Scandinavia. I just went to Sweden for a few days and you can see the pics or updates on Instagram as well. And for the next few days, I'll be traveling to Norway, Iceland and a small island above Norway. So that would also be very exciting. So that is it from my side, I think, uh, majorly the updates. So let's just get into answering this week's questions. See, in November, I took a lot of holidays from my office and what I was doing was essentially trying to find out where are the gaps, I mean, what exactly am I doing wrong? So I really, you know, did all the easy, very easy, medium questions of quant. I did the difficult and very difficult questions of LRDI. These were from the mocks that I had given before and the questions that I had gotten wrong. So this is the way that I tried to, you know, target specifically the questions that I was unable to do the first time. This majorly helped and one thing was, uh, you know, covering up my silly mistakes in quant, which were a lot. And I realized that even though I'm doing the question again, I'm making the same mistake. And hence, I was able to identify that, you know, these are the mistakes I don't have to make. So as per time, I think uh, I was doing around two mock tests a week and yeah that was i think most of it and rest of the time i was analyzing i gave all the mock tests of aimcat series of the time series and apart from that i gave two or three from ims and i attempted one from uh, cl i also gave this cat challenger i think that also belongs to ims so according to the college uh, you will get gd interview and a writing test some colleges have all three and some have just two of the three so just for example in Ahmedabad, bangalore and calcutta there's no gd per se but in shillong and all uh, there is gd so i mean it depends on the college yes it is always a good idea to you know not have too many breaks and doing internships is fine if that is something you prefer obviously work experience will give you points also when you know you are getting selected for calls or selected for the college but if you feel that work experience is something you cannot handle doing internship is also fine see very very frankly i think yes there is a significant part of it which someone has since birth and I have been a bit lucky in that part that I have the logical reasoning or the LR part very much embedded in me. And I that is something that, you know, uh, helped me get 100% in this section. But along with that, I would say that aptitude is also something that can be built. So if you very specifically, you know, identify sections where you are not, uh, not the best uh, currently, you can actually work upon them and practice to build it. It might take time and, you know, the time would vary depending on where your aptitude is currently. But I think it is possible to at least, you know, improve your aptitude by some amount. See, I have not really looked at the program. But what you can do again, there would be, you know, some kind of mock test for the same. So just identify what are the specific topics you need to learn for the examination. See, I think there would be some kind of syllabus or... Um, something like that on the website of I am Indore. So just have a look at that. I think I know someone, some distant relative who has done this and I, I think it is it is a good idea to, you know, try to aim for it. See, 2021 is very far away. I don't think you need to like, you know, start preparation right now for it. Maybe you can start it in, I don't know, January, February at the earliest. And for that also, all you need to do initially for the six months initially just cover up all the syllabus per se that you can find out that you can you know find from any kind of coaching institute material etc so just finish all the syllabus and then maybe towards um, i don't know september next year you can start giving mock tests and then shape your preparation in a way that you are just capturing the gaps that you feel are there in your preparation 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नो स्पेसिफिक एज लिमिट दैट आई एम अवेयर ऑफ एंड गिवन योर एज यू शुड नॉट बी वरिड अबाउट इट सेकेंडली येस ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव वर्क एक्सपीरियंस I don't know what firm. I mean, it is in a BPO and might not be the best, but still, always better to have it. Thirdly, I mean, I'm not really sure about this. Yes, if you do MBA from a good college, you're definitely assured of a good job if you perform well over there. No, it is not really necessary to mug up vocabulary, but yes, you need to have some idea of vocabulary because the different RCs that are asked, they might have some very difficult words, and if you are unable to understand the meaning, then you know you could get some questions wrong. So it's a good idea to have a good vocabulary in general, which you can build by reading a lot as well. It requires some time, but that ensures that you know these things are inculcated in you. I really loved my center. That was Time Jhande Wala Center. I mean, it was really amazing. My batch was very good. All the professors were really, really good. So that is just my opinion. I mean, there are multiple centers all across, but I think from time also, this center is the best. See, life in I am at least in Ahmedabad in the first year is very, very difficult. Of course, they put a lot of pressure on academics. You have to have hundred percent attendance, and if you want to take part in any clubs or sports, etc., that is just additional work you are putting on yourself. Apart from that, second year can be a bit relaxed, but again, you have to perform well if you want to get a good GPA in the end. After I am, work pressure is high because they expect you to work a lot and also, you know, just handle a lot because you have done your MBA. You are now expected to kind of act as a manager, and especially in finance and consulting fields. the work pressure is even higher because i mean just because of the kind of salary and perks that they provide i have seen people who get that so it is not impossible of course it is difficult because generally in bcom you have got less opportunities to you know enhance your extra curricks and position of responsibilities as compared to your engineering counterparts so that would be a problem but i think essentially what they look at is that your scholastic achievements your internships or work experience i mean not work experience in a freshers case but internships your pors and your extra curricks if you have at least two or three of the sections which are excellent and above the average batch then you have a chance of a shortlist and then you can prepare for the interviews to so consulting in itself it's like you know very rewarding because you are working on really great cases very good problems real life problems and that too of a firm that you are looking at from outside so you get a very good perspective over there the only thing is that uh, because i mean just because consulting is said to have a very high learning curve that means that you have to work a lot so you know you might be very easily getting about 14 to 16 hours a day on a difficult project and i think the lowest or the minimum would be around 12 hours even on an easy going project but that is something you expect once you have done your mba and even the firm expects from you that you can work so much see there's no point discussing score okay because score is very very relative if the exam is difficult or not also you cannot really give an average score because i got scores from the range of i think around 100 to 200 so that that just doesn't mean anything i think percentile is a better metric and you should look at that but you should not you know feel very upset or happy about it you should just aim that how far you are from the perfect score and why you are not getting it and just identify and cover that up as i have mentioned many times the uh, cv consists of scholastic achievements internship work experience and uh, extra curricks and position of responsibilities now if in your college you have not really worked on extra curricks and position of responsibilities you can try and do that while you are working just take up some additional tasks apart from your work etc apart from that obviously work experience there's you can change it a bit if you want to switch or if you get a fast track promotion etc that is you know really recognized in scholastic there's barely something that you can do you can maybe you know give these extra exams like cfa and all that add a little bit of value if you get a very good score this is a very very institute specific thing and i think minor degree in general is done along with your major degree so whatever institute you are doing your major degree in um you know just identify over there if you can do this digital marketing or something so that might actually help you 
I think everyone should, you know, know something of a language, of a programming language, of algorithms. So yes, everyone can do a minor degree, uh, I mean, or a, at least a course in computer science. Even in Ahmedabad, we had a course in second year elective that was working with networks, which is essentially a bit of coding and a lot of algorithms. And I think it is an excellent course. So wherever you are, I think if you try to find, there should be a course uh, of this kind. But if it is, you know, if it is difficult to find this, you can maybe do this online as well. It does improve your profile. I mean, there are two things. One, it just makes you feel passionate about something. You feel, you know, worthwhile spending your time in something. Secondly, it does help with your profile, at least in consulting shortlists. Um, there's, I mean, obviously to manage both of them is a bit difficult. So even for me in IIT, I did not have a good extra correct section. But then in uh, management school, there were these case studies, case competitions that I was interested in. And hence uh, the section just grew. So the idea is, I think always, always put the first priority as your studies. But whenever you find some time instead of wasting it, just see how better you can utilize it. It might or might not really help. I mean, uh, a lot of people do blogging and a lot of stuff with along with working. So could would not have so much of an impact. But yes, obviously better to say something rather than just saying that I did nothing that year. See, if it is the company culture to do things like this, you cannot really get out of it because, I mean, it's just, it's frankly just difficult because your company might just be doing these tactics to get people in. But if they just hired you for something, why would they want you to quit as well? So maybe you can have a very frank conversation with your manager that, you know, this is what I was hired for. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to quit or not? So, I mean, maybe having a frank conversation would make you realize that how much time it might take to eventually, uh, you know, get to the role that you have, you want it to be in. Or if, I mean, there's something else in their minds. Of course, uh, one thing is that, you know, if you are very well uh, acquainted with the type of questions, obviously your attempts would increase. But the second thing that has helped me is that if you uh, you know just start doing a set and if in five minutes you feel that you are nowhere close to cracking that particular set just leave two three pages for completing it later on maybe but then start a new set if you get stuck on a particular set for like more than 10 minutes that means that your time is getting wasted and you could have done some other questions in that time see i mean you don't really have to have a very very strong resume your resume should be good enough for that particular firm to like it i have seen people going go into marketing consulting specifically and in case you have a good you know financial uh, background or a few additional examination or courses certificate courses then you can get into finance as well i've also seen people going to uh, general management so, I mean, there are a variety of job uh, jobs that are there. It's just that obviously your zero work kicks would work slightly negative towards it. There are two things. If you think that you are, you will be able to get, uh, get through UPSC, then it is good to take any course of BSc or BA. But if you feel that you want to have another good option, then you might want to do this in something you like. Maybe be commoners, maybe... I don't know. I mean, if something that is, if that is something that you can do, maybe honors in economics or something like that. So just have a look how much, you know, uh, or maybe you can find actually a combination of both of these. So just identify the different options that you are eligible for and the ones that you like. If you feel that there's something that you like and re that requ does not require a lot of effort, then that is the best way to go to. I really liked Arya Stark. I li loved her guts. I just, I just love the girl. Well, every person is very, very different. And also, I mean, from so much that you know about me, you might not know a lot of things that are, you know, very specific to me. So I don't think that you should just aim for finding or dreaming a wife like me because every person would be slightly different. The basic good things that I can tell you is that just try to be the best version of yourself. Do not try to change yourself a lot because that might not work in the long term. But whenever you feel that, you know, this is something that I can change in me, 
just try and do that that is something i do on a continuous uh, you know basis i get angry very quickly so i just try and do that today maybe i will try not to shout at anyone or something like that so these are just small things that you can do to improve yourself and once you know you have the best version of yourself you will get the person who compliments you the best i am amdabad does give weightage to work experience nowadays almost every college does yes bangalore does give it higher i always would recommend you to have some work experience and then come into iams because you have a better perspective of things at that time so iams per se do not give any weightage while selection but once you are inside the college and applying for jobs etc they kind of consider what kind of internships you have had if your college doesn't really you know provide you internships you can also apply externally i know it is a bit difficult unless you have some contacts but maybe it is easier in international universities etc or you can do an unpaid internship in some kind of uh, place so just identify what all options you have if you can make some contacts if you can work in ngos startups because those guys are more open to internships saving and all of those things i mean these depend on your individual personality as well but of course i mean in government offices because you are kind of getting direct perks it just means that you are kind and of, you can hopefully save your salary but that doesn't really happen once you have a family etc anyway from the basic comparison i have at entry level definitely consultants have an edge maybe towards the end when the government is like paying for everything for a higher uh, level officer it might be kind of equivalent to a mid level consultant but again i don't think it is comparable to a partner and i'm not very very sure with the numbers this is what i you know just get from the gist see it is i mean i agree that it could be very difficult for you to focus right now but not said i mean you should think what is good for you in the long run what you will remember or what will define you is your career so just identify some distractions see what can help you you know get over the thoughts that you are getting and then try and focus because in the longer run all these things won't matter what would matter would be where you are based on your career see this is agreeably one of the major problems that i also face some days i'm like super active hyper active i want to do everything and i end up doing a lot as well and next day i just want to you know lie down in the bed so obviously this happens with everyone and it happens with me also and it is actually fine to have a few days off you know in a month if you are like not working for 3 4 days not very active not very productive it is completely fine but given that i feel horribly bad when i have these days so what i try to do is that in such one of these days i just have two or three major things that i would want to finish by the end of the day even if i am feeling very very lazy i would just say okay i have to pack my bags for this for this trip or whatever or i have to read these two cases or i have to make a video or i have to answer all the questions so just identify like some almost major goals but all like not too many of them which you can do on that day and you will feel better about it because the number is less you might actually be able to do it as well while feeling sleepy during rcs one thing is uh you should start reading newspaper editorials when you like kind of get used to the different topics you will not feel sleepy anymore also it's good that you are able to complete the quant section and i mean if your mock score is too low but you are kind of able to complete the section i don't know you should actually try and see if you are kind of having an exam fear and another very important thing that one of my professors said was that uh do not try to you know do all the questions that is not important what is important is that you do the questions that you do right so once you are done with a question maybe just have a quick glance at what was the question really asking and what have you put in maybe that would you know help reduce the silly mistakes as well and can improve your score see physics in class 12th and 11th is a very very i mean at least for me it was quite difficult so what is important is that your basics should be extremely clear extremely clear and i mean once you are done with that then maybe you can work upon the advanced things so my advice would be for every topic or every you know chapter read up the ncrt 
try and solve the basic basic questions keep your formulas together at one place and then go to the advanced levels okay first things first your vrc is weak varc always takes time to improve okay so don't feel very disheartened if it is it does not happen by the time of the exam um uh, secondly the things that you can do to improve varc you can find it in my webinars that the links would be in comments below and for your quant if your accuracy is facing an issue then maybe this could be a case of silly mistakes it could be a case of you just hurrying through questions and not really reading what is asked or just copying down the wrong values etc so just see what is really the case and then solve for it i think both can be done simultaneously uh, i have not done gmat but many of my friends have and uh, so in essentially in gmat the quant could be a bit easier and varc would be a bit tough that is the essential major difference and also i think you have to write an essay over there so english in general is difficult so they can be done together given your english is good because then you can you know spend more time in doing quant and lrdi and similar mock tests of gmat so yeah i mean this is fine you have very less time between your cat and gmat so it's okay i think just try for both of these i don't know the best mock series but i know the questions etc i think there's some link on the gmat website itself where you get the questions see for overall questions i cannot really help you much in this area you should look at my webinars that are there you can get sectional information from there and overall just don't try and put too much pressure on yourself my advice would be that you know just find where you are going wrong okay even in lrdi just don't try and do all the questions just do the questions that you get correctly so this would be my major advice because people tend to do attempt a lot of questions so don't try to do that i think people who are sure of doing an mba it is a good course i'm not sure of the placements etc you can check these on uh, i don't know i mean on the website and online but i think that it is a good course for people who are kind of sure see mba requires good english okay so if you feel that your english is very very weak then um, i don't think that it would be right to just get your hopes very up uh, one thing you can do is work on your communication skills and maybe then in a year try and attempt cat and get into a good college for that apart from that i would think that i know you are currently unemployed but uh, firstly if your chances of uh, you know cracking government exams is high then very good and good luck with that do that otherwise if not i think you should just apply for any kind of job that is there and just try and start working i find time to be the best just because there are a lot of people who give this ex who give these test series it is always beneficial to do mba if something you want to do is management or starting your own business uh it might be a bit difficult uh to get into while you have graduated from igno but yes it is always beneficial i joined time i was in the weekend batch of chandewala center see this institute is far and i do not recommend people traveling more than an hour one side so i would not really recommend you this institute but if you feel that you need an institute and this is the only one you have got around just try and find some productive way of uh, you know utilizing time when you are traveling i think many iims do take work experience only as well but it would be a good idea to go to your firm and ask for pay slips or you can alternatively show your bank account uh, statement where you have you know got the salary if you are going to aim for cat 2020 it is a good idea to take up a job because it is i mean the admission is almost more than one and a half years away so what will you do in that time okay so uh, one thing would be to improve very well on your communication skills secondly because you are working in your father's firm uh even the work experience points etc you can get easily i would want you to identify some places where you can show your leadership skills get some position of responsibilities maybe take up an event in your uh, firm and handle it and dial you on your own also get into something like extra currics while these are not all required to get into ima 
आफ्टर यू आर इन साइड यू माइट रिक्वायर दीज फॉर यू नो गेटिंग गुड समर इंटर्नशिप्स एट्सेट्रा फर्स्टली डोंट गेट डिवर्सटेटेड एंड द वे यू कैन यूज टाइम बिटवीन टू मॉक्स इज ऑब्वियसली आइडेंटिफाइंग वॉट यू डिड रॉन्ग इन दैट मॉक गिव इन दैट यू आर गेटिंग लो स्कोर सो आई मीन वंस आई हैव एक्चुअली आई हैव अ वेबिना ऑन एनालाइजिंग हाउ टू एनालाइज योर मॉक्स इट वुड बी अ गुड आइडिया टू हैव अ लुक एट दैट whoever i miss at any point in time i make it a point to just contact them and let them know i really like the song dil hai chhota sa choti si aasha i'm not sure if it is from the 90s or even older so uh, during student exchange program essentially each college gives you some kind of marks okay now in M- i am ahmedabad it is like 70% of it is your G- cgpa and 30% is the kind of extra curriculums you have taken part in once you are in the college there is a prescribed format and a detailed detailed document about how to calculate this score and and then they essentially give you some kind of ranking after that every person starting from the first rank gets to choose a college and based on the number of seats of each college those colleges start getting filled so till the time uh, there are seats which i mean there are a lot of seats uh, students can keep on you know choosing uh, to study for exchange term there are around i think more than 150 uh, um around 100 people who have come from my batch to exchange but i think there were around 150 seats i think the minimum percentage of uh, you know selection or even applying is at least 50 if not 60% so i don't think it is possible Okay, if you are talking about applying uh, for a full-time course, yes, having recommendations is always preferred, and in general, in foreign recommendations are given a lot of weightage. No, I have not apply, not appeared for any of these exams. Um. Okay, so just talking about Indian economy, it's fine that you know. I know. I agree that a lot of things are have been seen in job affair in job sectors, but the thing is that. in case you know you just feel that you could get could be better than most of the employable lot then i think it should not affect so much to you know uh to you about this because there'll be enough jobs at the top but if you still want to go abroad and stay abroad yes it's up to you not a good idea to skip geometry there are a lot of questions from geometry i mean you can get into a decent enough college but do you why do you just want to settle when you could actually get into a better college if you try and prepare for geometry and the lrdi topics that you have mentioned see there would be some good days and bad days during your preparation and you might feel that you know i don't think that i can do this i actually had this feeling towards the very end very close to my cat exam when i gave this cat challenger and i kind of panicked and didn't do very well i think i got around 90 percentile or so so i mean at that time the only thing you can do is that know that you kind of know better and if you don't really know better till now you just believe in your preparation believe in your planning and your practice and that will sail you through see i have made a lot of videos on specifics as well i mean i cannot really talk about syllabus because that would require a lot of time investment on my side but from the 5 6 webinars that are there i think you can get the most of gist of how to prepare for cat um i would not be the perfect person to know the prospects of mba from tier 2 colleges maybe you can speak with someone in your coaching institute some faculty they would know better while the diploma might not add too much of a value it is always better to do that rather than just sitting at home and kind of you know showing a gap year uh, it's good to have a job just identify if you can become a research assistant uh, somewhere in your college or labs just apply for a few things here and there maybe you can get some kind of job i'm not sure of the kind of jobs that you would have but just ask your college seniors etc Yes, a gap year is seen negatively, definitely, because I mean, in general, CAT is not really seen as something that you require full time preparation for, because it is aptitude in the end. And um, one thing that you could do, obviously, you could do some get some work experience, or you could do some kind of internship or smaller projects. You could also work in some NGO. 
or you could get a diploma in something that you like as you are kind of forgetting my uh, advice would be one to have a entire formula list you can see a sample on quora on my exam prep blog where i have put in my uh, quant formula so just segregate this by topic and see you know that uh, so many formula for this topic that is once you have written them down you might remember them better also practice is another thing that you will have to have to do to identify what formula to apply when so these were all the questions that i had for this week and uh, one major thing that i would just like to repeat would be that in your cv the points that you have is scholastic achievements internships position of responsibilities and extra currics i think that scholastic achievements is the most important this is something that you kind of you know that is the major goal that should be the major goal of all your studies so just try and get a balance in all of these but please keep scholastic as your priority at least during school and college and that is kind of it again i have not answered a few questions who were uh, which were of the type that you know just tell me how to prepare for rc or lrdi you can find all these uh, options in my webinars and the links will be below in comments and apart from that i think that is kind of it my next video would be out after 20 days because i'm traveling scandinavia for 20 days and this is kind of it you can just check out the updates of different travels on instagram also you can either subscribe over here or follow me on insta to get the update on when my next video will be out so that is it okay so guys just see you good luck